Mind the mess in my house, we're still cleaning, but today I'm doing something extremely different. I'm going to try to earn money, money that I can buy retro video games with, with trades of something I've never traded before. I've been buying a ton of vintage clothes lately. Look at this, I buy a lot of vintage clothing. So I'm gonna take some of this. Most of this clothing is vintage, like there's Harley here, definitely sportswear, Washington Redskins, old school, just sweatshirts, band shirts, Def Leppard, and a lot of stuff that is the good old single stitch. Vintage clothing, single stitch. So I'm gonna take all of this stuff, take it to a game store, see how much trading I can get. By the way, we're going to our amazing Retro Games Plus with our friend Chris. We're gonna be going there, we're gonna see how much trade I can get for retro games, so I can have some retro games, keep some, sell some and whatnot, have some fun with the community, this is what game hunting and collecting is all about. The fun, the circle of life. Lots of cool retro here. Retro, retro, retro. Single stitch, single stitch, single stitch, single stitch. How sick is this jacket, by the way? Man, this is one I'm trading in, but it just doesn't look that right anymore. This thing is sick. Here at Retro Games Plus, Chris isn't here. Chris is normally our guy here that we go to. He's the owner of the store. He's always the one we work with. But normally I would say, eh, I won't I won't trade in stuff because Chris isn't here. But you know what? Nice gentleman at the front. So I was like, you know what? I'll I'll go with him. He, he's look at that just that sweatshirt. He <laughs> you can tell he knows what's up. So yeah, all of you. I picked it too. Did uh, you? It's from the bins. Yeah. Oh, are you the bins guy that he always talks about? Yeah, Chris always tells me he's got a bins guy. All right, so again, I know Chris isn't here, but I'm still gonna poke around. There's a few things I saw in here that I was like potentially wanting to buy uh, that I think would be really cool for whatnot for you guys too. And again, as you guys will see, I'm not buying stuff to like get some crazy flip on you guys. I just like seeing when I see things that I know isn't out there seen very often. If I can pick them up and then get them for the community, which would be really cool. Ooh, man, look at that. Rad, I think I showed that before, but oh, that's a doozy. Sergeant Smith, and he wants to play. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll play. <laughs> what know he's going for today, huh? I don't know. Hey, I'll bait him, okay? <laughs> All right, dude. <laughs> couple things that caught my attention were this Jaguar controller because it's really clean, this team taps which are really clean, and this right here which is really clean. Because I've seen these, they go for around that price, but they looked more beat up than these. These look really clean. So maybe something worth picking up for you guys. So those are very clean. So these are also like mega, mega bangers right here. All the Ninja, Ninja Turtles shooters right here. They have the whole set, 50 bucks each, which is around the right price. So I think maybe this would be something Something that would do really well on our stuff as well uh, with you guys. I think I'd be able to, you know, my goal is to at least be able to get people back what I pay, you know, or I get back at least what I pay for it. So that's all I really care about. Yeah. All right. Let's see. GameCube is what I know a lot of you guys are interested in as well as the uh, some of the Wii, more of like the banger titles. Also, I need a few for my my personal as well. I'll poke around and see. So these are the two I'm looking at right now, X-Men Next Dimension for the GameCube and Yoshi's Whirly World. Again, I'll have to see what I got in trade in and some of those other things over there that I was talking about. But for now, these are the two that, that got my eye, got me enough to wanna buy. Yoshi's Whirly World, special amiibo bundle available. Only on Wii U, rated E for everyone. So just a heads up, I think I'm gonna get that Tiny Toons, the Blazooka Blitzkrieg, Wiz right there for Super Nintendo. Wow, that is horrible filming, I'm so sorry. And maybe Phantom 2049 as well, right there.
So there's a few other things that I'm hesitant to get right now when I say that because Chris isn't here. And when, you know, big tip when you're buying stuff, whether you're keeping them or flipping them, is you know, you make relationships with people so you can get, you know, a little bit more discount type of bundle deals and stuff as we all talk about when you're working with one of your friends. So there's a few things I'm hesitant about, but I'm really thinking about those Jaguar team tap ones just because the ones you see on eBay are not in that good of condition. These ones are near mint. So I think I'm going to keep one and I think people would be really excited uh, to see them on the app as well because again, you don't really see them in that good of condition at all. I don't see any in that condition on eBay. All right. So I just found out that James is the manager over there and he knows that I know Chris and he was like, dude, I can, I can help you out with stuff and whatnot too. So I don't know guys. I, I don't know if I can pull the trigger on these. I don't know how excited you guys would be on these my only fear is if i got them and people don't realize how cool they are and then you know they sell for two dollars again my goal is to get you guys cool stuff but also not screw myself over in the process <laughs> all right james i need i need another one bro i need another one uh, can i see that jaguar controller now, i'm curious how it looks inside if it looks as good as the other stuff looked inside i'm confident this one you're confident i'm holding you oh boy yeah that's what i call Probably never use. <laughs> so, okay. Well, throw it in the pile. Excellent. <laughs> thank yeah, you. Fine. Cool, thank you. So I'm just stopping to say the guys here have been super awesome to me. Very much, really cool dudes, really cool. Just had great conversations with them. And I'm showing you guys all this stuff to see if there's anything I'm missing that you guys want. I don't know, I'm really hesitant on these. I'm really hesitant to buy these. He has all four, which is very uncommon to see. <gasps> Can't tell if I want them or want to put them on a whatnot for you guys or... I, I, I can't resist anymore. I, I think you guys are gonna love them. I sent a video of this to Retro Rick and he's like, oh my gosh. Oh my son! People will love those. You never ever see these. It's really hard to find them on card. And they have all oh, four of them. Oh boy. And he said he might, again, help me out with a little discount if I buy a ton of stuff. Oh no, this one's pretty beat up. Dang it, this one's kind of open. I better examine these better. But I think they're all pretty much sealed except this one has a crackle. All right, these are going up there. Or you could, you don't have to ring them up yet. Just, okay. you can put them in my pile. There's my pile back there, by the way. Oh boy. Oh boy. So yeah, come to look. I think one of them was fully sealed. The rest are like basically in sealed perfect condition, but just have some scotch tape around them, kind of holding them together. So whoever had these took beautiful care of them. So I normally don't spend like this, but I, I am having so much fun finding such weird stuff that I just really think, it's stuff that I like too, I'm keeping some of this too. And then stuff that you guys were just like, oh, this would be so cool if you could find weird stuff like this. We definitely found out on our whatnot auctions that you guys love video games, you love toys, but you guys love the weird and random. I'm weird and random. You are weird and random, our whole family. Wow, I have never seen or held an EverDrive game before. I don't really have much interest in owning this myself, so. Here is where we're at right now. Really cool, unique items. So you ask, you shall receive. I'm curious what that total bill is. Is this before the cl clothing credit or after? Give me the after number, after number of what I actually owe you. Well, like <laughs> What's my final total with the vintage clothing money towards it, plus the 15%, which I appreciate, by the way, very, very much. I'm scared. I'm scared. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Yes, my child who's sitting on the floor. <laughs> Four hundred and eighty-one oh five. <laughs> oh boy! Right after Christmas. What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're, we're talking different. We're talking weird. This right here does not exist on eBay. Complete in box. Only see these for about seventy bucks loose. For just the just just this is online for about seventy bucks. I have I literally there's not one on eBay in the box like that listed or sold. So I gotta get it, bro. Yeah, bro. I I'm gonna grab yeah. it. So uh, the people want weird and different, and I've never seen anything super weird. weird and different. I literally cannot find it. So there it is. All right, last minute, last minute. 
I just spent another hundred dollars. I spent like over five hundred dollars in here. So I hope I'm doing what my goal was by getting you guys cool stuff for whatnot that hopefully you guys can get your hands on. Just had so much fun finding the weird stuff. This is some of the weirdest cool stuff that I know you guys like. So really cool, really thankful I was able to do this. I just love it. You guys are this community is like unreal cool. Last thing I wanna say is a giant, giant thank you to Retro Games Plus. They treated me so, so good in there. Chris wasn't even in there, but all the rest of the employees were awesome. I just had to shout them out. What an awesome time. Bye-bye.